So I recently posted on Instagram about an amazing wash day that I had using a new to me technique. This technique got me not one, not two, not three, but four awesomely defined wash days and I honestly could have gone for longer. When I started talking about this on my stories, you guys were like, I need it! And I was like, okay, okay, I'll film a video, geez. Let's talk brush styling. So before we get started, I'm gonna have to give a huge shout out to Curly Breezy Hair on Instagram. She's the one who originally inspired me to try brush styling. So first I'm gonna take Innersense I Create Volume and flip my head from side to side while raking in the product to make sure that everything is fully coated. Now you don't have to use the exact products that I'm using here, you can use whatever products you want, but if you're using different products, you might have to make a few small alterations. Now if you wanna see what other products I'm using with this routine, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Brick Curls. Once I feel my hair is totally coated, I'm just gonna go in again while upside down to the front to coat my face frame. Flipping back up, I'm gonna split my hair into two sections. This is gonna make brushing a lot easier. Next, I'm taking my wet brush, going section by section, brushing in an arc motion away from my face to distribute product and create clumps. Once I brush each section, I hold it at the root and give it a little shake to make that clump curl. Feel free to go over each section as many times as you need until it clumps up and looks correct. Now, since I brushed my hair with each side kind of split, I'm now going to take the back and give it a little bit of an extra brush just to make sure that that part doesn't curl oddly. Next up, I'm gonna take the top down and give myself a middle part. Note that it's not an exact middle part, just wherever my curls are falling. And I'm gonna repeat the exact same brush routine. Once again, don't forget the back. Now here's where the magic happens. I'm gonna flip all of my hair to one side, starting with the side that I typically don't part my hair on. and gonna repeat this same brushing routine, but specifically going over any curls that look stuck or look a little wonky. Once I'm done with this side, I'm going to flip over to the other side. The point of this is to make sure that my curls have movement. I want to be able to flip my part once my hair is dry, and I also want my curls to just be defined all the way around, and this routine will do that for you. Next, I'm going to take Innersense I Create Lift. This is a foam, so it's going to add a little bit of water and hydration to my hair, and all I'm going to do is apply this with praying hands. We are not raking or breaking up these clumps we just created. But if you're using a product like a gel here, you may wanna add more water. I'm getting excess hydration from the foam, so you wanna make sure that you're doing the same. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of scrunching to tighten up those curls. Next, I'm gonna flip upside down, apply a little bit more product with praying hands and do some more scrunching. Next, I'm gonna take my handy dandy shower cap and rinse off my face and get dressed. So if you recognize this next clip, it's because I reused it, but here I'm just tying my plop. So I keep this on for about 10 minutes to absorb excess water. After that, I take it off and here's what my curls are looking like. Next, I'm gonna take my favorite Extava Black Orchid Diffuser and hover diffuse for about 10 minutes. Got this idea from Curls with Alexa on Instagram. And next I'm going to root clip. So this is absolutely essential for me if I want volume in the front. After that, I'm going to pixie diffuse for about five minutes. So here I'm only turning on the diffuser when it's touching my head and turning it off to move it. Next, I'm gonna spray my hair with Bounce Curl Hairspray. I love doing this for some extra hold. After a couple hours, I'm gonna replace my clips. They tend to sag after a little bit, so it's good to keep that hair elevated. And then I'm gonna pixie diffuse for a couple more minutes before air drying the rest of the way. 
So here my hair is fully dry and it's looking like a pretty promising wash day. So I'm gonna take out those clips and scrunch out the crunch. And here's what my hair's looking like. It's super soft, defined, and bouncy with still a good amount of volume, which is how I like it. And of course I can flip the part, which is the best. Now, the best part about this wash day is that it's long lasting. So here's what it looks like on day two. And here's what it's looking like on day three. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you try it out, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Brick Curls or use the hashtag Brick Curls My Hair so I can follow along. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if there's anything else you guys wanna see me do, make sure to leave it in a comment down below. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, night, whatever time it is. I'll see you guys soon.